Hi, I'm Todd with Triple Painting. Today we're going to talk about some common painting tools that you'll need for your next interior painting project. We're going to start with the drop cloth. You're going to want to cover your floors and furniture. Um, you can buy these at your local paint store or if you have some old sheets uh, around your home, those work just as well. Next, we have some spackling. Uh, this product is great for filling nail holes or stress cracks. It dries fast and is easy to sand. These are the spackling blades you'd use for, for uh, spackling your nail holes or stress cracks. They come in different sizes based on your patch. You can even buy plastic disposable ones if you only have uh, one project. Once that spackle dries, you're going to want to sand it. We really like these sanding sponges. They come with a fine medium side and uh, we find those are really useful. While you're cutting in, you're going to need some type of step ladder and able to get up next to the ceiling. We like a six foot step ladder. We, we feel that gives us uh, enough height to get to most ceilings. So prior to rolling the walls, we always cut in or use the brush and a small roller to go around the outside edge of the room and then roll into that. This is a bucket, uh, handy roller pail um, that we bought at the local paint store. Again, it comes with a plastic insert that's reusable. But if you don't want to purchase this, you can always just use the paint can that the paint came in. Um, you can wrap your thumb around it like this, makes it very comfortable. I like to dent it in a little bit, just makes it uh, even more comfortable for my hand to fit in. For interior painting, we use mostly a two and a half inch sash brush. You can see the angle cut on this brush. That's a sash brush. Just gives you a lot of control as you're trying to maybe go next to your white ceiling or along the trim. So um, two and a half sat inch sash brush versus a flat cut, cut brush, which is uh, more for production, uh, won't give you as much control. Next, we're going to talk about 9-inch roller. So, 9-inch roller, handle, cover, and pan. Or, if you have a lot of painting projects, we really like these 9-inch buckets. They do come with a liner, but lots of times we just use a disposable trash bag that we can put in. And that way, if we're changing colors out, we can just remove the trash bag and put another one in and we're ready to go. For interior wall painting, we really like a nine inch, half inch roller cover. We always prep those by wrapping blue tape around the cover and peeling it off, which gets a lot of lint. You can see the lint stuck to that. We may do this a couple times to get a new roller cover ready to paint. So we always use uh, some type of extension pole on that nine inch handle. It just makes rolling of the wall so much easier. If you don't want to make the investment in, in a pole just for this, you can always take an old broom handle and screw it into the end of the handle. Uh, and that'll work just as well. Um, you might have some caulking to do between the baseboard or the window trim and the wall. So you'll need a caulk gun and a tube of caulk. A few other things you'll need, screwdriver for taking switch plates off, we always re recommend a rag. No matter how good you are, you're going to need a, a rag at some point during the painting process. And lastly, blue tape. Blue tape is great for not only uh, the 9 inch rollers, but covering up things like baseboards that you don't want to get uh, overspray on.
Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found this helpful for your next interior painting project. Please take a look at our other videos for tips and tricks on both interior and exterior painting. Best of luck on your next project. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.